Let's go on an adventure. What are we looking for? We are searching for inspiration. What is inspiration? Inspiration is the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially something creative. Where can we find inspiration? Inspiration is all around us. Come with me. I will show you. It's wonderful to go on a vacation, but we can't always do that. We can find inspiration in our own front yards. It's a great idea to take a camera with you to record what you see. You can go to a park, take a hike, go to the ocean, or to the mountains. The city is a wonderful place to do some urban sketching and to gather photographs as well. I love nature. My favorite things are running streams, mountains, flowers, insects, and animals. My favorite animals are people, but we see them all the time. So it's nice to get the opportunity to observe animals that you don't get to see as often. If you don't have access to the mountains and the beach, you could visit the zoo. I often look for photos on the internet or a magazine. My local library has magazines for 25 cents. This one is full of all kinds of beautiful photographs. I truly feel though, that the best inspiration comes from observing things in real life. It's good for your spirit as well. I would like to show you one of my art journals and to talk about that. I love to keep a journal of all my ideas and techniques. This one was made by Jane Davenport. It's one of her mixed media journals. The paper is really lovely. One side is smooth and the other side is watercolor paper. When I'm working in my journal, I don't let myself worry about the outcome of each page. I look at each page as an exploration of a new medium or a new way to use a medium, a new idea or technique. My goal is not to create an amazing painting. Someday I would love to illustrate children's books. I view each page as a step toward that goal. So if it doesn't come out perfect, it's okay. It's about the process, not the product. When I'm out observing, I like to look at wide landscapes and use those images as backdrops for characters, or just practice painting them by themselves. I really like to look closely at the small things, like flowers, insects, bark, and lichen. I love to watch shadows and light. I could watch the sky all day. Look at these clouds and the way the light is changing in the sky and reflecting off the mountains. These are some things that I gathered on one of my walks. These little caps are from acorn seeds. These are some empty snail shells. The patterns on them are interesting. Look at these beautiful eucalyptus leaves. These ones are a little more dry, and the color is different. They all have little variations in color and interesting patterns in the veins in their leaves. Just look at the beautiful color of this one and the interesting pattern where bugs have chewed it. I have a little seashell. Look at the amazing colors in these leaves. Sometimes I like to draw the things that I find, and sometimes I just like to bring them home and use them as inspiration for my color palettes. The colors that you can find out in the rocks and leaves and in nature can really inform the colors that you're using in your paintings. In this photo, I'm drawing from what I saw out on site, except this time I have a picture of it on my phone so that I could bring it home and look at it and draw it in front of you. It's not really so important that you make your drawings look perfect, you're just trying to capture what you're seeing and record those things. It's nicer to do it out in person, but I didn't have a recording of that for you, so I just did this for you at home. 
with a picture on my phone and you can do this from pictures from the internet as well. Sometimes you might be stuck at home. I like to use references borrowed from other artists as inspiration as well. In this painting, I used an image by Alphonse Mucha. It's okay to copy art as long as you aren't trying to sell it. He had models to pose for him. I don't have that luxury, so I used the image of this woman. I didn't try to exactly copy her, but just use her basic gesture. I found images of a deer and a rabbit on the internet and included them. The flowers in the background were from some doodles I had collected in a journal. On this trail we found the most lovely bees. Just look at these amazing flowers, this interesting foliage, and these interesting seed pods. Where can I use these inspirations in my art? I would like you to take yourself out on an artist's inspiration date. Treat yourself to a nice picnic. Take your journal and a camera with you. Try to look at things in a new way. Slow down and really observe. You will be amazed at what you can find. You can take a friend with you, but make sure they don't mind stopping to smell the roses. Thank you for joining me on my adventure today. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to share my video with your friends and family. Leave me a comment about what things inspire you the most and where you like to find them.